Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm gonna give you a simple method of how you can get the ESP32 microcontroller to reliably connect to Wi-Fi every time. There are a lot of tutorials online and other YouTube videos about how to get an ESP32 microcontroller to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It's quite simple, there's a few things that you need to declare, but as long as you know your Wi-Fi network name, the SSID, and the password, it's quite simple to get it to connect. However, in practice, and one of the things not mentioned in many tutorials, is that the ESP32 is notoriously bad at connecting to Wi-Fi on the first try. As I use more and more interconnected things, and I've been playing a lot lately with Node-RED, which is a great a software interface to hook up a lot of these wireless controllers together, one of the things that I've found is that the ESP32 just fails to connect a lot of times. Even when you've done it all right and it's supposed to try reconnecting every few seconds, it just never does and it doesn't matter how much time you leave it for. The secret is to get it to reboot the ESP32 because a lot of times just pressing the reset button once or twice, it'll work great. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take the basic ESP32 Wi-Fi client connect, add a reset command after a few unsuccessful attempts to connect, and you'll see that it works wonders at making the Wi-Fi connection reliable so that it works every time. So without further ado, let's jump into it. As you can see here with the Arduino IDE, I have a very simple Wi-Fi sketch set up here. I'm simply going to include the necessary library and then put in the standard connection info in order to get it to work properly. As you can see here, I'm just gonna leave the SSID and password space blank, but you're gonna put in your own SSID name and the password for your network. As long as you know for sure that those work, the next step would be to upload the sketch and see that it connects. But as you can see, the not connected script that causes it to keep looking will sometimes just hang and it'll just go on forever, never making a Wi-Fi connection. What we're gonna do is add a counter here so that after a certain number of attempts, instead of just infinitely going on, it's going to reset the ESP32 and then run that script again. That's much more effective. Many times it catches on the second time or third time, but before long, it's up and running and always connected. I've never had it fail yet as long as my Wi-Fi network is actually available. So you can see here, I just add a new variable that's gonna be incremented every time it tries to connect. And then I chose only three attempts, but if you need more than that, feel free to adjust it to a different number. Put it in there, and after your counter reaches the desired number of attempts, simply have it run esp.reset. Let's see it in action. There you have it, a very simple little solution, but incredibly valuable because it is so frustrating when you put all the time and effort into getting a project working and then it just won't reliably connect to Wi-Fi. If this tip helped you out, let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and check back regularly as I post a new video every week. If you wanna send me an email, my information's in the description below, or leave a comment, I try to respond to as many as possible. That's it for this week. Until next time, in all your DIY projects, whether you just keep trying to connect or hit the reset button, don't be afraid to be balder.